Today we're going to talk about how easy it is to become a property owner in Estonia and uh, how simple the whole process is. Hi everyone, this is Preet from Life Invest and today we're going to talk about securing your capital and earning rental income in Estonian real estate market. If you want to learn more about us, then go to lifeinvest.eu for more information. So, I'm bringing you out five bullet points on how easy and simple it is to become a property owner in Estonia. The first one being is uh, you have to make sure that you're going to find yourself a, a trustworthy broker. The brokerage market in Estonia is uh, unregulated at the moment and uh, pretty much anyone can become a broker. So it's very important for you to find yourself a trustworthy one that knows the local market well and uh, is well respected by the notaries. Secondly, once you find yourself a property that fits your needs, you will have to agree on a price. The process of agreeing on a price is uh, very simple and quick. Uh, you will literally do it right there in the apartment with the owner itself. Uh, you don't have to put it in written forms, wait for the answer to come back to you. It happens right on the spot and uh, you move on from there. After agreeing on a price, it's just a matter of setting a notary date. The notary day usually comes in Estonia within a week, if not quicker. Also, at the notary, uh, there's two types of deals. Uh, you might be coming, you might have to come back for another time, uh, depending on the property that you're buying. So, second-hand property uh, requires only a um, one time visit to the notary and uh, that comes maximum uh, within a week's time. If you're buying uh, a property in a newly built building, then uh, the first visit to the notary is uh, for a 5-10% down payment visit, which uh, engages both sides to the deal. And then the second visit comes once uh, the handing over comes of the apartment and uh, then you pay the rest. So once you're at the notary, the notary deal itself takes up to an hour. Um, be prepared because the contracts will be in Estonian, but generally the notaries they speak English. Uh, if you want, the uh, contracts can be translated for you. Uh, we've done this uh, plenty of times with our partners in the past. But if you're not fluent in English, then you need to have a sworn translator next to you at your own cost, and it generally is around maximum uh, 100 euros. Due to the current travel restrictions, um, Estonia has come forward uh, in uh, digital innovation again. Um, the digital signature service that we have over here, like uh, if if you're an Estonian resident or an e-resident, then uh, you get an ID card which allows you to uh, digitally sign uh, paperwork. And uh, due to these times, the Estonian notaries now they uh, allow to buy property over a video call if you have the ID card, and uh, that makes the life a lot easier. You can do uh, you can buy property from the comfort of your house just over a video call and uh, start making rental income. Another great point to make over here is the cost of becoming a property owner in Estonia. It's actually quite cheap. It's eight times cheaper than in high income OECD countries. Uh, for example, a 100,000 euro apartment in Estonia, a notary fee for this is 0.5%, uh, uh, so it's only 500 euros. Uh, in uh, high income OECD countries, the World Bank says that uh, it is uh, over 4% generally. Uh, so it, there's an eight times difference in the cost of the notary deals. So to summarize and wrap it up what we just discussed, five points. First of all, find yourself a trustworthy broker that can help you out locally, knows the local market and speaks your language. Second, uh, agree on a price with the owner. That happens really quick. After you find yourself a property that fits your needs, uh, agreeing on a price is actually very quick and easy. It happens right there at the apartment. Thirdly, you get the notary date. Usually happens within a week. Uh, the notary contracts are in Estonian, but the notaries, they generally speak English. And if needed, there's a sworn translator next to you. Nextly, we discussed uh, the travel restrictions in the current times. Uh, so if, if you're an Estonian ID card holder, you, can, uh, you don't even have to travel here. It's possible for you to buy uh, the property over a video call. Also, lastly, we discussed uh, the cost of uh, buying a property in Estonia. It's very competitive compared to other OECD countries and uh, helps you keep your uh, expen expenditures very low in Estonia. If you learned something new today, then like, share and subscribe. Uh, if you want to know more about the strategies of investing in Estonia, then uh, download the blueprint from the link below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon.